This is my beginner wash day routine. If you are new to the natural eye community and you have been struggling with your wash day, then this video is definitely for you. This video is my full updated wash day routine. For detangling, you need a brush or a comb or you can just use your finger. Using my finger is what I have decided to do this year. So the first thing I do every wash day is lather my hair with water. And today, my hair is not in twists, my hair is not detangled, my hair is just all matted up. So after lathering it with water, I'm going to take my deep conditioner. This is something you can use your leave-in conditioner, you can use your deep conditioner any one you lay your hands on and then i'm going to carefully section my hair don't forget my hair is so matted up and i'm just going to use my fingers to carefully remove every knot just have to be very careful with this because since your hair is already wet it is very easy to break off and when i'm done separating as much as i can i go in i'm creating four sections for this hair and this four section will make it easy to work with. So anything you do with natural hair, try your best to work with it in section. Working with my hair in twist is the best thing that has happened to me. But anytime I'm careless with my hair like this, washing it in section is the best thing to do. So after sectioning this part, I'm just going to roll this out. And rolling it out this way, we keep it a bit stretched and make it easier to detangle. I have a lot of way I detangle my hair, but this is the easiest way I chose to detangle my hair on this wash day. So I'm just going to section it like this. Move over, over to the next section and then part it just the same way and also roll it out and section it. So I'm going to take this section and then section it again into smaller section. So this is very easy to do and it makes the tangling very easy. So if I was using a comb, I wouldn't need to get a smaller section. I would just go in and detangle each section. But this one I'm using my finger and I have to make sections that are smaller so I can get rid of all the shed hairs and all the tangle. So I'm getting a little bit of the deep conditioner. I'm rubbing it on this hair for it to be easier so the first thing is to separate the hair separate it as much as you can and then i go in with my finger to bring down the shed hairs from the root of the hair and when i bring down the shed hair from the root of the hair i then go to the tip of the hair and pull out the shed hairs I repeat the same thing twice on each section this is so that i am very sure that there is no hair tied at the roots of my hair there is no hair matted or no shed hair that is tying any hair at the roots of my hair so this is something you can easily do with a comb if comb sits well with you but i am not using a comb on my hair throughout this year and because i'm not using comb on my hair this works perfectly well for me if this is your first time of doing it or if it is your first time of trying it it's going to be really really difficult because this takes a lot to learn but when you learn it it's going to help your natural hair journey this is the only way you can keep your hair long and healthy by not breaking off your hair while detangling so if you can avoid breakage at this point of detangling then you are doing well for yourself so using your finger to actually comb your hair is something you should be considering if you are trying to retain length or also trying to keep your hair full and healthy so i'm just going to do this over and over again I mistakenly added the strands i'm not supposed to add to another section and i'm just going to open up and remove that and that is because I treat every strands of my hair equally. When you treat your strands of hair, like when I remove this one, I still have 1,000 remaining. Like that 1,000 is 1,000 minus 1. And when you minus 1 from 1,000, you no longer have 1,000 strands on your hair. So any strands is important. Take care of every strands of your hair equally they are all important and together they make your hair fuller and healthier so i'm just going to continue this off camera and when we come back we continue with our routine ended up with 12 twists three for each section that is 12 this is how much hair we lost and now we're going to rinse off the conditioner we use in detangling 
shampoo is very very important using a moisturizing shampoo or using a sulfate free shampoo is very important because on wash day your hair cuticle are open and it receives a lot of moisture that is water and everything is re-moisturized your hair is just so um alive on wash day so using a shampoo that is hydrating moisturizing is very important to help your hair health so i'm using my black soap shampoo i have it somewhere in my channel on how i make my hair growth black soap shampoo which is very moisturizing and washing my hair in twist is something that really really helps me and once my hair is in twist wash day goes as fast as go 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 so i wash two times and i focus all my energy on the scalp the scalp is where the build up happens is where the death happens and then when i finish washing the scalp i then put on some energy in cleansing the strands of my hair not as much as i put on the scalp so i wash my scalp twice and then i rinse off now it's time to deep condition my hair usually wash my hair with only two products that is my shampoo and my deep conditioner this is how i have really survived my hair journey so i wash my hair with shampoo and i deep condition with my deep conditioner and this deep conditioner is homemade handmade it is a deep conditioner i make myself so this deep conditioner is made with herbs and other ingredients that helps it nourish my scalp so you can use any deep conditioner in the market it can be anything it can be your diy it can be pear and banana it can be aloe vera gel it can just be any store-bought deep conditioner that you see that has moisture as its first ingredient that has water as its first ingredient and that doesn't have harmful chemicals so natural homemade deep conditioner are always best i go ahead to take my bath and then i come back here to steam my hair so normally i would just let this sit on my hair for a period of time but because i want to steam my hair i use the hand dryer to do it so now this is my hair after some hours of steaming it with heat and i'm just going to rinse off this deep conditioner and after rinsing it off i'm going to dry my hair with my polo shirt in place of microfiber towel so if you can get a microfiber towel it is the best option since it doesn't have rough surface to break off your hair i'm using rosemary water as my liquid my leave-in conditioner as my cream and then rosemary oil as my sealant i'm using hand dryer and destroyed it it is not just about moisturizing your hair but moisturizing it the proper way so i'm just going to take down each twist one after the other and then put in the moisture and the way we are going to be doing this is we get the liquid first any liquid you decide to use it can be water mixed with glycerin can just be any liquid but just make sure there is liquid then we use our cream then this can be a leave-in conditioner you can use a leave-in conditioner to do this and then you seal it with an oil oil as sealant you can also use butter like shea butter to seal but i prefer using oil so using a hand dryer helps get this moisture into the hair faster or you can just do the bag method like wear a plastic bag on your hair to get it in so the essence of this hand dryer is not to dry the hair but to get the moisture into your hair properly using my hand to detangle a bit so that i don't create clumps on my hair and after using my hand to detangle a bit i go back to blow drying the hair once i can no longer feel the product on top of my hair i now go into styling so you can either twist from here but today i want to stretch out my hair a little so that i can trim the tip um but usually this is where i end it all i just twist up my hair and that will be all for the day if you want to see how we finally trimmed from start to finish then you want to stay connected stay tuned stay subscribed to this channel see you guys in my next one bye